Everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Marvel Snap video. In this one, we're gonna be looking at the new data mine information, and I'm gonna give a quick look at the bundles and should you be saving for some of this stuff. So let's go through this data mine information. Again, shout out to Snap Zone for getting this stuff on here. One of the things they've got early on is uh, the June 2023 season. They're speculating here. They think it's gonna have to do with Cross the Spider-Verse film so that you're gonna get things like Ghost Spider and Spider-Ham, which could be pretty cool. They've got some variants. They've got gold or thrown in there too. Could be awesome. May 2023, fully expecting this to be associated with the Guardian movie. The big winner that we're gonna talk about here, High Evolutionary. This is something that I will tell you right now before even getting to the bundles, I would highly recommend saving tokens for this card. Just at a initial glance, I think this is gonna be a specific deck type. I think it's gonna be probably a big bad. It looks to be a lot of fun in changing cards that you've already got, so it won't take much to make a deck type. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below at, uh, once we get there. So they talk about the different cards in here that's that are coming, the new ones, Nebula, Iron Lad, Howard the Duck, and the aforementioned High Evolutionary. So let's talk about what they do. Nebula, each turn your opponent doesn't play a card here, plus two power, except the turn you play this. I mean, I think that's an interesting card you throw it somewhere and so it sort of forces the opponent to continue to play there and act actually as they play there it keeps that down but that means you can go to other lanes so they either go to other lanes and allow your nebula to grow or they go to that lane and you can focus on other spots your decision iron lab copy the tech of your deck's talk hand this is interesting to me uh similar to howard the duck howard the duck is an ongoing tap this to see the top card of your deck so it will tell you what's coming up essentially. You know, Iron Lad, you could combine that with Howard the Duck, see what it is. And then it's like, okay, now I'm gonna play Iron Lad because I know that I'm gonna get something good. Initially, I thought this was a dud. I actually think the text might've said of your opponent's top card. It's, it clearly says your deck. So maybe they changed that or maybe I'm just missing things uh, when I first read it. But I think those two cards combined can work together decently. High Evolutionary. At the start of the game, unlock the secret ability of all your cards with no abilities. What does that mean? So all the cards that don't have an, uh, any abilities, Wasp, Cyclops, Misty Knight, all the things that you typically put in a Patriot deck, High Evolutionary is going to unlock secret abilities of those cards. And we will get into those secret abilities here shortly. I will tell you offhand right now that I think that the secret abilities are an amazing setup with all the different cards. I think the energy that goes along with it, the buildups, the energy you can take and the power that you can take away from your opponent is going to be a fantastic deck type. I love it. I think Luke Cage is going to be coming critical for this because it will be a massive counter. So you might want to just have Luke Cage to make sure you have a counter to high evolutionary. That is the one thing that I would say would keep me from being really excited about high evolutionary. What are these secret abilities? Again, there's a one cost card, two cost card, or a zero cost card, one, two, three, four, five, and six cost card that are all gonna change. So that is that is a total of seven cards, plus high evolutionary gives you eight to fill out your deck, and then you can figure out what you wanna do for those last pieces. Wasp, on reveal, afflict two en random enemy cards with negative one power. That's a non-reveal. Love it because then if you get a non-reveal again, you Odin it or something along those lines, or you beast it back and do it again. Something to think about. Misty Knight, when you end a turn with unspent energy, give another friendly card plus one power. Maybe you want to think about Sunspot because you're already thinking about not spending energy. You want it to go there. And Misty Knight is going to throw more power out there. Again, phenomenal. Shocker, here's your two cost card. On reveal, give the leftmost card in your hand, minus one cost. You like it. You always want more cost to go down in your hand. This one's probably a little bit weaker from the rest, but it's not bad. Cyclops, your three cost card. When you end a turn with unspent energy, afflict two random enemy cards here with negative one power. Again, huge. Try to get this thing out as much as you can. Ping, ping, ping. Take that energy down. Get the, your energy going to sunspot. At the same time, you're going to have Misty Knight giving you power. All right, digging that. The Thing, your four cost card. On reveal, afflict a random enemy card here with negative one power. Repeat this twice more. Minus three power. All right, pretty sweet. Abomination at five cost. Cost one less for each enemy card in play that's afflicted with negative power. So you've got your Wasp that you're doing it, and then you've got your Cyclops that you've got going out there. Then you've got Thing also afflicting random enemy cards 
with negative one power. So then you're gonna get your cost for abom abomination down super, super low, which is gonna be gr a great late play for nine power. Hulk ongoing plus two power for each turn you ended with unspent energy. So lots of unspent energy stuff, lots of afflicting your enemy with less power. I love everything about this. Again, the sad, sad part of it is it's quickly countered with a cheap Luke Cage. Get your Luke Cage, save for them. Make sure you've got them in your deck so if you run across this deck, you plop it and it's like snap. If you see this deck and you got Luke Cage, snap. But I still think it's fun and it's awesome. I, I really think it's gonna be a great archetype. And they're talking about April, 2023. We know the cards coming here with Hitmonkey, Jeff, Snowguard. Stegron did a video with Stegron on it. If you're not familiar with Hitmonkey, gain plus two power for each other card you played this turn. It's a two cost card. So you're gonna obviously wanna have additional cards that you've played in that turn with Hitmonkey. Super, super cheap stuff to build them up. Jeff, you can move this once. Nothing can stop you from moving or playing this to any location. I think it's amazing. I'm very curious to see how this plays on Death's Domain, all that sort of thing. Could be a huge card that you're always gonna, again, want in your deck. Snow Guard. While in your hand, this transforms each turn into a hawk or a bear. Okay, that that to me is sort of like, I guess it's cool, but I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Like, what is it? I mean, when it changes to a hawk, does it do something? When it changes to a bear, does it do something different? TBD for me. And then Stagron, we talked about this, moving in on reveal, moving enemy card from here to another location. Again, unless this is gonna be, allow you to pick which card and where it goes, a lot of RNG there. I'm not super stoked over that, but I think it could be a fun troll card. And they've got a whole bunch of variants listed in here. Howard the Duck, High Evolutionary. They're all decent. Iron Lad, okay. Uh, some new Atuma stuff. This America Chavez is pretty dope. Armor, Black Knight, Blah Brood. Some more Peach uh, Momokos. This one's pretty sweet for Captain America. I actually really like this Captain Marvel one. I think it's awesome. Carnage, Cyclops, honestly, so you've got all the Cyclops variants out there. Now, you know what? Some people I think are gonna actually gonna wanna have them because he's gonna be a really good card. Some additional Daredevils, Destroyers, Elsa Bloodstone. This Ghost Rider one's pretty sweet. We talked about Ghost Spider earlier. Hawkeye, this, I think it's a Dan Hip Helicarrier. Hobgoblin one's not too bad. Got a Hulk, uh, looks like a baby Infinite. Bunch of Jean Grey ones. I'm really curious to see when she's going to come to the game. A leader, Legion, some more Legion. I actually really like this magic one too. I think that's pretty awesome. If I can get that, I'm definitely going to be using that for my magic one. That Magneto one is also amazing. I just I very much dig that. Moon Girl, Mystique, Nick Fury, another Odin one. Psylocke, Dan Hip style. I think that's fun. A couple Saber two, Silk. Eventually we'll get Silk coming to the game. Silver Surfer. These Spider Woman ones are actually pretty sweet too. I love how she's got... I got them all tied up in her web there. That's pretty awesome. Some Squirrel Girl, Phoenix Force, this Thor one, Venom, and then White Queen and Wong. All right, so the bundles. They've got a number of bundles in here. We're going to go through these in detail. Uh, well, we're not going to go through in detail. I'll talk to them about it a little bit, and then eventually we'll do a little bit more deep dive. But you've got a Tokens one here that you've got for 5,000 gold that gives you 4,500 collector's tokens. All right, it's okay. Earth 616 day. This one doesn't give you much other than some variants. It's expecting to cost 999. This was this must have been updated because that was not there any previously. We've got the token bundles you expect. Uh, Dan Hip 2900 gold for what is that? 2000 tokens. Dan Hip Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl. We'll look at these variants as well. This Avengers one. There's basically you get boost. This is the weirdest bundle they've got on this one. I just I'm kind of like. All right, so you basically get three variants, Mr. Fantastic, Ant-Man, and Captain America, and you get 35 boosters. When I first saw this, I was like, I hope they this better be less than $10. It looks like they're saying it's gonna be five bucks, which is fine. That's, I think, reasonable. The Throg one, I think this one is the one that's gonna be the most interesting. And we'll look at this in the spreadsheet real briefly too. But it's 7,000 gold, 3,000 collector tokens, 7,000 credits, some boosters for Thor and the Thor Throg variant. Everything in that offer I think is great. Problem is it's super expensive. Is it worth that? Again, we'll dive into the spreadsheet here in a second. All right, first one that we're gonna get is the Throg. Like I mentioned, 7,000 gold. You get 3,000 collector's tokens, 7,000 credits, all those boosters. It's a base pricing cost of about $142. The co actual cost is 80, roughly $88. The discount on that's about 38%. It's not bad uh it's it, again it's going to depend do you want that variant do you want all those credits and those tokens i think everyone's going to want tokens and it's going to be do you want to save those tokens to maybe get high evolutionary it's something i would definitely consider but again 
How easily countered is that with Luke Cage? It frightens me a little bit. I would be semi-hesitant to spend that much gold, but the good thing is you do get 7,000 credits too and a really cool variant in my mind, which again, we'll look at in a second. Avengers, this one, like I said, I originally had, I thought I was hoping this wouldn't be any more than like maybe $8. The reason there's a base pricing cost on this is because I said there were 700 gold uh, variants on it. So it you know goes up to about 30 bucks. It looks like it's gonna be five. So that's a huge discount. But again, you only care if you want those actual variants. I'm not sure I care so much for them. They're cool. We'll look at them in a second. It's not something I'm gonna like really save for necessarily or, or necessarily look to spend money on. Dan Hip, the 2,900 gold one. This is your, your second of your gold offers on this. 2K credits, the Devil a Dino and Moon Girl boosters, avatars, variants. The base value of this is about 57 bucks, $39 actual cost, 31% discount. All right, not bad. Again, I think I'd, I don't think I'd buy this one because unless I really wanted those variants. The 2K credits, I don't know. I think I probably want to save my gold for something that I know that I really want. The Earth Day offer, uh, the $10. So. I originally thought this might be closer to 15 or 20, even though I didn't think it was necessarily worth that. But 400 credits, 400 gold, two variants. The Baby Groot one's not bad. It's about a 67% discount. That's pretty solid. The tokens offer 4,500 gold. You get 4,500 collector's tokens. You get Squirrel Girl, Boosters, Avatar, and Variant. That's a base pricing cost of 85 bucks and an actual cost of about 58, so a discount of 31%. I like the tokens, uh, but I don't love the Squirrel Girl variant aspect of it. I'm kind of like, mm, not playing her a lot. So of all of these, I really, for me personally, and maybe it's because the variant and the the amount of tokens and credits you get for it, I'm trying to climb. I'm probably gonna save for the 7,000 one, but let me know which of these you guys are really looking to save at. I, I think they're decently worth saving for. I think getting those tokens and credits and to build is something that you're definitely gonna consider. And if you're wondering about the variants, here they are, there's the Throg variant. I think it's pretty cool, it's not bad. Uh, you know, the Mr. Fantastic, it's a Mooster Fantastic. Ant-Man with the cookies, all right, not bad. There's the Captain America one, that's the one that's, you know, four bucks, five bucks. It's Captain America. There's the Dan Hip, Devil Dinosaur, Moon Girl, those aren't too bad. The Baby Groot and the Hella, Hella Gardening one, I don't really dig that much, but the Baby Groot one I think is pretty cool. And then there's the Squirrel Girl one. I think, again, all all right. Uh, we'll see. I'll do some more deep di dives into those cause videos a little later, but I wanted to touch on it. And we already talked about the May coming in is going to be this Nebula, Gamora, Guardians of the Galaxy. Everyone's getting pretty hyped over this card back with the cassette tape, if that's real. If that's real, that is super, super cool card back. I think that a lot of people will definitely want to be grabbing that. Here's the infinite rank card back. It's a gold one. I think those are going to be super popular. Uh, an interesting location that's going to be added to the game, Milano. There's not a picture here of it, but uh, turn five is the only turn cards can be played here. Okay, that's interesting. You're going to be looking for your move cards to be able to make sure to hit that one. So get your move deck or your night crawlers your visions your dooms able to fill that one up or you know what jeff and that's everything so i just wanted to cover that semi quickly touch on those bundles touch on the cards i am definitely going to be saving gold and I, i'm going to consider saving all my tokens for high evolutionary because i think it could be a fun deck type again i'm a little worried about luke cage being a quick and easy counter for that so would that mean that you'd want to spend those tokens on a card like that that is so easily countered by just one cheap card I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys stopping by. If you want to hammer down that like button or if this was helpful anyway, very much appreciate it. Until next time, hope you have a wonderful day.